Greetings, friends. And welcome back to Pokemon Legends Arceus. Yeah, I was like, oh, I wonder what we need to do to get to our next place. And I just looked it up, and we do need to get a fourth star. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to keep training some Mons and getting them to evolve and stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and if this happens again in between episodes, we'll, or if this happens again, then in between episodes, we can just grind for the Pokemon. Yeah. So that way we're not like just leveling up for several episodes in a row. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't want to help all these freaking losers, <laughs> but I bet like it would help, you know, get us to a higher rank. All right, Vespa Quinn, you were unnecessary. <laughs> get out of here. What level are you? You're level 25. I'm trying to see who's going to evolve soon. Uh, oh. What level is Machop? Um, oh, he's 25. Yeah, he'll, he'll evolve soon. Um, but do you're letting me down. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, Ghastly will evolve in a couple levels. Uh, Cricketot evolves. Oh, wait, we already have the one that we evolved. Mm -hmm. Um, let me see. I guess I'll do Shellos because I think he's only gonna take like one level to evolve. Mm -hmm. I just want to get more points. Yeah. So we get the show on the road. I don't know what, like, the fastest way to get points in this game is. I, I don't know either. I think it's, like, literally just playing the game. Yeah. It's like, catch more guys. Evolve more guys. <laughs> do this. Do that. Mm -hmm. Go help the losers around town. <laughs> All right. Let's go. What do you want? <laughs> oh, c come on, dude. Pokeballs can't reach Pokemon fling, flying way up high, but Feather Balls are another story. Three Feather Balls? Cool. Feather Balls fly pretty far, so they're great for catching Pokemon up in the sky. Well, thanks. Mm -hmm. What the hell? <laughs> Was he gonna run away too? He looks like he sees me. Too slow. <laughs> God dang it. <laughs> That gave me, like, nothing. <laughs> I wonder if there's any stronger Pokemon out in the water. There probably are. Or, like, over near the, um... The volcano. Mm -hmm. oh. On a grand adventure. I don't know if we ever, like, went over and saw what that archway over there is. Yeah, I don't think so. Something sees me. <laughs> but I don't know what. <laughs> Ooh. Mantine! Resurface! <laughs> Come on, get the get the quill fish! <laughs> There we go. Oh, he's got purple tips. Going for a little tour around the battle. <laughs> you got it, Luxray! <laughs> what were you gonna say? I wonder what that thing he's standing on is. It's like a little raft, because mm -hmm. he's not a water Pokemon, I guess. Barb Barrage? The frick? Throw the Pokeball. Sweet. How about get off of this? <laughs> okay, sweet. No. <laughs> Come on, <laughs> there we go. 
He's like, gotta take it slow. Alright, sweet, you're dead. Yeah. Okay. Oh, it's shell off. It's like, what the hell is that thing? <laughs> I don't know why it didn't work the first time. Yeah. He's gonna run, I bet. If it has the chance. <laughs> and these guys aren't giving like hardly any experience. That gives more experience than the shell off did. Roost, that's fine. Bop. What is Ooh, that? Togetech? Or a Togetech, yeah, too. Or which which is which? Yeah, I Toga Tech, I think, is the second evolution, and then Toga Kiss is like the one that looks like a plane or whatever. <laughs> Turn around, freak. <laughs> Face any other direction. Literally, what are you doing? Ah! There he goes. Now! <laughs> the fake out. Ah, Jesus! Are you gonna kill me here? <laughs> Take this. This shouldn't kill. Sweet, don't run. No, mm. oh, you piece of shit! <laughs> God damn it. Ah, I love this game! <laughs> it's like, hey, we know you haven't seen any new Pokemon in like four episodes. So here, we'll give you one, but he's gonna run away after kicking the shit out of you. Right. <laughs> okay. Oh, there was an item in there, okay. I was like, was that just an empty box? <laughs> it's like the same like thing, same as last time. It's so freaking annoying. <laughs> okay. You're mine. Sweet. Can't carry anything in my satchel. Can't carry anything in my satchel. <laughs> the hell is that? Remoraid? <laughs> uh, maybe because he sees us. All right, tough guy. <laughs> You're gonna die. He <laughs> probably. Oops. <laughs> if 
only he had gotten into the ball. Wait, does Shellos not level up at... Wait, what does he level up? 30? Um, I'm not even sure. God dang <laughs> it! <laughs> let me look and see how many... Yeah, let me use some of these potions. There we go. I think Machop levels up at level 27 or 8, though. He's 28, yeah. yeah. That's when he evolves. Mm. Yeah, I wish I had looked up before. Like, oh, you're gonna need four stars, because I just would have done all of this off camera. <laughs> yeah. Watch, I'm gonna be doing this stuff for like another 10 minutes, getting all these points and shit, and then go back. He's gonna be like, yeah, you're almost at rank four. <laughs> <laughs> Like, what do you need, Commander Cobalt? <laughs> or whatever the heck your name is. Well, he looked like he was about to level up, but I don't think he evolves into like 44 or some shit. Anybody? <laughs> <laughs> What the hell do you need? You're crying. Oh, you're here? I've been waiting. Like I said, I need your help finding Yorich from the construction core. He and I came out here to set up a base camp, but then he went off on his own way to lay the land. It hasn't come back. Yorich ought to still be somewhere nearby. If you, please, if you find him, please tell him to come back here already. I'm not looking for Yorich. <laughs> you can go do that yourself. A bunch of remorade. Ah, <laughs> I keep wasting all the Pokeballs too. <laughs> so that archway's like literally nothing. Was that a Gyarados? Looks Shit, like it. Yeah, it's a mad Gyarados. It's a <laughs> big mad Gyarados. Oh shoot. <laughs> Are you You're, trying to use hyper beam or something? Yeah, but your hyper beam's lame. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what? How many are there? <laughs> okay. Not sending anything back. You decided to battle some other time. Yeah, because I did not realize I was walking into a freaking nest of these freaks. <laughs> Damn. Oh my god. <laughs> it's so annoying. <laughs> I just want to freaking get rank four so we can continue the damn game. <laughs> God. <sighs> All right, yeah, and oh, I guess none of your other like freaking sticking together. What yeah, freaking annoying as shit. And I'm sure they would give us a ton of experience. Oh, but no, I gotta go fight fucking stupid ass drift. What fuck over here? <laughs> Since he's all alone. <laughs> oh, level 26? Oh, I wonder how much EXP I'm gonna get for this. I'm guessing two to three hundred. Only 20 more of those to freaking get to another. Oh, 150! Yay! <laughs> god. Go away, you stupid ghosts! Oh my god. Okay, wait. Yeah, you're gonna be worth something. <laughs> I love how even though we're like 11 levels higher, we're still slower than it. Right. Gotta let him get a free hit off. And I'm not like actually mad or anything. I'm just freaking frustrated because I'm like, I wish that 
You know, everyone's like, open world Pokemon, but not really. It's actually, um, quote unquote, open zone Pokemon, but not really because you need to catch and defeat a certain amount in order to get another rank. And oh, even if you like catch every single Pokemon that's available to you, you didn't catch like 20 of each of them. Mm -hmm. So we can't give you another rank. I'm just getting annoyed by all of this meandering dumb shit we have to do between the areas. Yeah. Like, just give us the next damn area, please. <laughs> We've been in the Cobalt Coastlands for what feels like a month. <laughs> it's probably been like three or four episodes, so it probably has been like a month. What are you? Hey, Tentacle. I'm gonna try not to kill you, so don't die. <laughs> Getting the ball. Yeah, this is just one of those games where it's like, hey, you know how we have a main story thing? Well, you have to do, you have to do a ton of side stuff in between in order to enjoy any of the main story. Mm -hmm. And games like that, I'm kind of like, if you're gonna give me side content, let it be side content. <laughs> the angry looking tentacruel here. I'm gonna go after this derpy looking one. <laughs> Even though Luxury's like about to die. <laughs> ah, great. <laughs> ah! Oh, Staraptor. And it also doesn't make sense to me that they're putting, like, alpha Pokemon out that are, like, 20 to 30 levels higher than everything else out here. Right. I'm like, you don't you don't think, like, maybe 5 or 10 levels would have been fine? <laughs> you know, like, oh, yeah, we're going to put them 20 levels higher, so that way after you've done the next three areas, you'll have a chance at beating them. Mm -hmm. Ugh. Time to evolve these losers. <laughs> And then I'm gonna head back to the camp. I'm hoping to God he's like, hey, you've managed to scrape enough points by for me to give you level four. Even though you're the only person in this entire village doing anything, right. of, and <laughs> contributing any effort. We have 55 people in this village sitting on their asses telling you that you need to do more before you can qualify. <laughs> Freaking annoying. <laughs> okay. Now let me freaking teleport. Back to the camp. To the camp. <laughs> Heal. Yay, time to exit. This way. <laughs> Your Pokemon catching efforts are quite clearly bearing fruit. How about a report? Okay, cool. Oh, it seems you've made some new observations. Let's have a look then. Hmm, I see. Most illuminating. I'll update our Pokedex with this new data. Okay, sweet. Nice. Finally. Finally! <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm going to the village. Right uh, to the security core. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> yeah, let's skip the freaking potato mochi this time. Please. He shouldn't have any because that wasn't a main story thing. He only does it after like, well, you quelled another guy, so let's sit the fuck down for some good old potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, 
Yes, have you made progress on your research task? Yes, I have. If you made progress report, I'll judge its worthiness. Oh, looks like you're worthy. <laughs> Yippee dee doo da day. <laughs> now he's letting balls. Pokemon up to level 50 or award you. The rewards will be even more generous, but not really because you're gonna need 10,000 times more of the stuff in order to do shit. <laughs> you have the recipe for leaden balls and the recipe for hyper potions. In order, in order to make hyper potions, you gotta use a super potion, and I think in order to get super potions, you have to use a normal potion. Okay. <laughs> Your current rank qualifies you to conduct research in Cornet Highlands, but you'll need help from a particular person in order to survey and ultimately quell this electrode, because we can't do it ourselves, but we need you to be at a specific rank in order to go there! <laughs> <laughs> I don't hate this game, but I wish that they had been making this type of Pokemon game for, like, ten years, so that at this point they would have, like, perfected it already. Because mm -hmm. this definitely seems like we're trying something new, and we've never done it before, so we're gonna kind of suck at it. <laughs> Oh my god. Alright, where am I go? I did not mean to do that. They said to go to the training grounds. Get get back in the... Okay. Get back in the ball! I don't want to talk to you! <laughs> oh my god! I'm losing my mind. Isn't it right waiting for you at the training grounds? You should go see her before you leave. Here, let me switch out my Pokemon too. I don't want half these guys. There's some Pokemon you want to switch, yes. What level was... Crobat was 36. What level was... Graveler 36. I'd rather have Graveler. And, like, we don't have any good grass Pokemon. I feel like we need one. I don't want to take Badoo, though. Oh, <laughs> uh, what about Tangela? Tangela sucks! <laughs> <laughs> we could take Tangela. Yeah, Tangela's best stat is defense. Yeah. So it's just, like, not my favorite. Alright, training grounds, training grounds. I'm gonna take a wild guess and assume it's this circle one. Mm -hmm. Yes, okay, sweet. So if it doesn't have the big white circle around it, that means that it's just a loser asking for you to catch a specific Pokemon to help them with a task that their children should be able to help them with. I can't reach the box on top of my fridge. Could you get a freaking tall-ass giraffe for it? Right. <laughs> this gentleman is Warden Ingo, who serves Sneasler. <laughs> he won't guide you to your domain. He looks like a freak. Yeah. Pleased to properly meet you. I apologize for that abrupt how do you do before. Only freaks are named Ingo. I'm the warden Ingo. Just like Ocarina of Time. <laughs> I understand you'll need a hand from Sneasler in order to meet Electrode. Whether she'll see fit to help you, however, we can only find out by making the journey. Now let's have a safe journey to Mount Coronet. All aboard. Ingo's a bit like you, you know? Like me. He appeared one day from who knows where. What's more, much of his memory seems to be missing because he's been living here for the past 75 years. <laughs> Maybe traveling with you will help it fill him in or fill in some of the gaps in his memory. <laughs> I'm like not even trying to read. <laughs> in any case, I'm glad to have you help have your help to cattle once again, Tom. Good luck at the Highlands. <laughs> Just let me go. <laughs> Okay. If you've been watching this whole time, God bless you. Thank you so much. Please like and subscribe and tell your friends. <laughs> yeah. I don't really know what they can expect from a Pokemon game. Yeah. Like, we're literally battling Pokemon over and over again, just like any other Pokemon game. Yeah. Heading outside the village, stay safe out there. I mean, I'm just annoyed that we haven't been able to get to, like, the main story in however long just because everyone wants us to do a ton of side quests and shit just to continue on to the main story. And I'm like, guys, I know this is your first time trying to make an RPG that isn't a Pokemon game, but it's actually a Pokemon game. But please, side quests to the side next time. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> we need you to just go catch 30 Voltorb first <laughs> before we can get you to the next rank. There you are, my boy. Welcome to Coronet Highlands. I expect you'll find all sorts of rock-type and ground-type Pokemon wandering about these craggy, boulder-strewn heights. And up there, right beneath that great rift in space-time, is the peak of Mount Coronet itself. 
The magnetism from it may well exert some sort of influence on the Pokemon throughout the area. Fascinating stuff. Yeah, fascinating. More like slow and aiding. Because <laughs> this game is slow as shit. Fascinating. <laughs> oh. What level are you? Oh, okay. See ya. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and also this is a blind playthrough, so maybe there is like a better way that, you know, we could have been doing all of this stuff. But I don't know. Like, I haven't been watching anyone do playthroughs of this game or anything like this. Mm -hmm. I thought it was just going to be standard Pokemon Fair. And for the most part, it is. It's just, like, them having to put, you know, stupid requirements and stuff. Like, could you imagine you're going back and, like, oh, I'm playing freaking Gold and Silver, my favorite. And you get to freaking Golden Rod City. And Whitney's like, whoa, before you can come in here, I need you to catch, like, 20 more Pokemon and defeat, like, 30 more. <laughs> <laughs> and then once you get there, she's easy as shit. Yeah. <laughs> When you get to uh, Jasmine, doesn't she make you go cure a mill tank before you can battle it? Oh, she, okay, so she makes <laughs> you go across the sea to get a freaking yeah. potion for a, 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 it's not a mill tank, it's a, um, an Ampharos. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But the, I think that's more so that she's like the sixth leader and she's like redirecting you to the fifth gym leader, but that's still annoying. That yeah. That's probably the most annoying part of the game for me. That and then like the rocket hideouts. Yeah. Specifically the one with all those stupid doors. Oh my god, yeah. you remember that shit? You have to like do them in a specific order. But I always just keep randomly clicking until I get like every entrance and I'm like, I guess I did it. Yeah. <laughs> And also, even though she asks you to cross the sea for her and, like, get other, you know, get get the potion and stuff like that, it doesn't take as long as this took. Right. Uh... Yeah, I have very mixed feelings on this game, because I, I love half of it, and the other half, I think, is kind of a jank mess. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, you both get your attacks first. Okay, cool. Oh, I was... Gold that, yes. Damn, that does, like, nothing! <laughs> Graveler, don't die on me, baby. Oh, that... Item. Do I have any super potions? I don't, but I have a normal one. Here you go, buddy. Hopefully Golbat will die this turn. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And I'm probably just gonna battle for like another couple of minutes and then call it quits. Mm -hmm. At least we got to where we're supposed to be going. Yeah. You piece of crap. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh... Yeah, and then that's the other thing, too. Like, it's nice that the battles only take, like, a couple seconds, but in order for them to get to that point, they had to, like, completely rearrange how the stats and stuff work. And since they did that, it's like... I don't know. It, it just... All my math is mixed up from, you know, having played Pokemon for the last 25 years. They're like, yeah, you know that? Forget it. Mm -hmm. And just... The moves do different things. There's no such thing as abilities. You know... Shit like that. Yeah, I wonder if, like, Machoke and Graveler are gonna evolve in a different way. I looked up, like, because I, I, I wanted to know if we had to trade them. We have to find some item somewhere, and I'm pretty sure it's, like, an early game item that we just missed. Mm -hmm. And, like, we can, you know, if we want, we can go back and get it. Yeah, um, probably off camera. Yeah. Just so that we don't have Graveler for the rest of the game. Yeah. I was gonna say, that'd be dumb as hell if, if you had to, like, send it to a uh, Pokebank or some equivalent. Mm-hmm. It would be dumb, but, you know, they'd probably be like, well, this is smart because then we can get more money. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think more kids will have to get freaking Pokebank in order to get all the Pokemon they want. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Luxio, you're going down. And I don't know if Tangela still evolves in the same way or not, because in Diamond and Pearl he evolves by, um, you, like, gotta teach him ancient power. 
and then he uh, he evolves after that. That's weird. <laughs> yeah, there's a, bu a bunch of Pokemon that are like that, like Yanma and Yanmega. That's like how you evolve them. Teach them ancient power. And then level them up. Same with um, Piloswine and Mamoswine. Mm -hmm. and I'm like, why? <laughs> <laughs> they were getting creative back in 2007. This right. ancient power is speaking to me. Mm -hmm. I'm evolving. The Electrode known as the Lord of the Hollow is somewhat different from the Electrode I recall, but its electrical discharges at least are familiar. One false step around it could put you in danger. If you're going to face it, you might consider catching Pokemon that can withstand electricity. Already got one. <laughs> it must be difficult being a Pokemon, don't you think? Especially one as irritable as Electrode, then becoming frenzied to boot. So true, it's a tough old life for Pokemon and humans alike. Well, well, Warden Ingo of the Pearl Claim, and oh my, the Galaxy Team grunt from before. You're punching well above your weight to seek out the great Electro Lord of the Hollow. <laughs> God, what is this dialogue? Right. But, by the sheer tenderness of my heart, I'll grant you a trial to see if you're worthy. The greatest obstacle you'll ever face awaits you right here. Battle me if you dare. Maybe another time. Yeah, in the next episode. Yeah. <laughs> Well then, let me tell you the great Melly's take on the whole situation. The frenzy of our nobles is nothing other than a mark of Almighty Sinnoh's favor and protection. Why? Because it makes them stronger. Do I really need to spell out why that's a good thing? No. We must let my lord frenzy as it may to demonstrate to Almighty Sinnoh that the diamond clad lives as is right and good. <laughs> this may even be, dare I say it, the very reason I'm here on this earth. Will you ever shut up? <laughs> what business is it of the galaxy teams anyway if Electro lets loose a few sparks out here in the mountains? Would you have said all of this if I had agreed to battle you? <laughs> really? You should do it. Yeah, I probably would have battled you knowing that you were going to monologue yeah, for two minutes. Say all this after we beat her. Oh my god, blah 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 with that bomb voyage. Yeah, see ya, sucker. What a selfish outlook. These frenzies cause the Pokemon themselves such suffering. But what is it you want to do, Tom? Um, I'm, I'm going to turn back for now. Like, the, let me just save the game, guys! <laughs> Very understandable, but alas, I doubt flouting your commander's orders will end well. To meet Sneasler, Tom, you must pass through here, Wayward Cave. Here you'll find Pokemon like Golbat and their ilk, which are quite at home navigating in the dark. It's quite dim inside, so you'll need to watch yourself. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Alrighty, guys, thank you so much for watching, and we hope you'll join us next time. Bye-bye. Have a good one.